The ban, which stopped sand eel trawlers fishing in English and Scottish sections of the North Sea, came into effect in April. Nature groups have accused the European Union of a deep betrayal over its calls for an arbitration process over the UK's sand eel fisheries ban. Some 35 UK and EU conservation organisations have issued a joint statement urging the Commission to support the post-Brexit UK ban which aims to protect the ecosystem. Hugo Tagholm, Executive Director of Oceana UK, said, It is a deep betrayal of our shared seas that the EU is continuing this challenge, which is clearly driven by aggressive tactics from industry giants who lobby for short-term profit with scant regard for marine life. Sand eels are an essential pillar of life in our ocean, supporting a wealth of wildlife that rely on these fish for food, and are already under strain from other threats, from the climate crisis to chronic pollution. Danish fishermen argue that the UK's ban breaches the Brexit deal but the Labour government has been urged to stand firm against their demands to protect sand eels. The fish are a key part of the UK ocean food chain, supporting vulnerable seabird species including puffins, kitawakes, and razorbills. They are also a vital food source for seals, porpoises and whales, and important fish species like haddock and white. Katie Jo Luxton, the RSPB's Director of Conservation, said, The EU's decision flies in the face of its commitment to protect and restore marine ecosystems. It is a scandalous attempt to reverse a hard-won victory for under-pressure seabirds like puffins and kitawakes, as well as the many other marine species that depend on sand eels. In January, after decades of campaigning, the UK and Scottish governments announced an end to industrial sand eel fishing in English waters of the North Sea and all Scottish waters.